Um, whenever I use a coil, I definitely prefer a fatter grip. Overall, um, especially when you're doing longer sessions, a fatter grip is nicer to hold, especially starting off. They're not the lightest things in the world, so to have a nice fat grip on there like that, it acts as a nice counterweight too, because when you're tattooing, you have, you, you're supporting the weight in the machine. So having this, the heavier it is, like it's kind of actually a counterweight. This is my setup. This is a Kevin Riley machine. Shout out to Kevin Riley because they're absolutely banging machines. So you grab your needle. As you can see on the end of the needle here, it's soldered on one side. Soldered on. Is that right? Soldered? Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, whatever it is. It's, it's attached. On it's on there. Old school guys that make needles will kick my ass for not knowing what's. <laughs> yeah, so I usually have that side facing down. Uh, now, because there's an elastic band that wraps around the machine and the needle, I like to give it a little bend, because when the elastic band is wrapped around it, it will bend it back the other way. So just to keep it a little bit straight, I give it a slight bend in it. Um, you have to be super careful putting your needle in because as this goes through you're trying not to hit any of the tube inside. Because they're, they're very fine needles you don't want to blunt them too much. Oh really you don't want to blunt them at all. Feed that straight through. Now, when I started tattooing it took me a good couple of days if not a week or two to realise that it's way easier taking the grommet off of the machine putting it on the needle before. So basically, you take the grommet off the end of the machine here. And then from here I hold my mach machine. All of this is loose, I'm not tightening this up yet. Now once you push this bar down, you poke it out as far as it's going to, and I like to adjust it like this to see how far the needle's coming out. Some people work right up to the tube, which means that they, they only have the needle exposed out so much that they literally press down right on the tube. I like to have the needle exposed a little bit just so I can see how much is coming out, just so I can like control it a little bit more. Like all the station where there's like all the pens and shit. And then boom. And then what I like to do with everything in place like this, this is still loose, so this can move up and down. You wanna poke your needle out as far as possible. Push that armature bar out and your needle poking out. See your needle at the end. And that's basically as far out as your needle is gonna be. So with this loose, you can then say, okay, that's how far it's gonna be. I wanna work around there. And you tighten them up. And there you go, that's tightened up. Then you wanna put your bands around the outside of the machine just here. Most of your machines will have some type of little groove in there where you can put attach your bands in. Use a pretty big band here, so I've just doubled it up doesn't feel too tight or anything as you can see they're still got a nice little bit there. And that is pretty much how your machine's set up. Make sure you're comfortable with how far your needle's out. Make sure everything's you know in place. Your machine should be solid, a good machine, you should be able to squeeze this in your hand and nothing should move. This should be solid so pretty much as long as everything's in place there. Again, you'll see in another video, make sure your bands are not too tight. Um, I'll talk about that in another video. We'll pop a little something up. And that is your machine setup.